Check out my sponsor U4GM, they are offering cheap MLB The Show 24 stubs with fast delivery. If you are interested, please click the link in the description and use my code CAP for 5% off. <clears throat> Yo, what is going on guys? We have to stop making about the video for you guys today. Before we get into it, I do want to say I appreciate all the support. Uh, per usual, you know, when we do hit 12,000 subscribers, I am going to be doing a giveaway for three $50 gift cards. One for Xbox, one for PlayStation, one for Steam. If you guys want to enter that giveaway, all you guys got to do is just be active on the channel. Just like, comment, subscribe. The month we hit 12,000, I'll pick from three random videos. So, I'm going to just grab three links from three random videos of the month I have 12k. And it's just going to give me like a random comment from one of, the, one of those three videos. And, uh, yeah, I'll pick three different winners. And... Yeah, you guys have to be subscribed, like I said. And if you guys want to do these sub methods, you know, and maximize your profits, make sure to put notifications on because I notice a lot of the time some of these sub methods, you know, when people do post them like me or anyone else that posts sub methods or anything like that, the people who get to watch the videos earliest, you know, make the most profits. So, um, make sure to put notifications on, like I said, because, you know, if you're watching this a day late, prices can always change for you know whatever i'm posting so yeah let's get straight into this if you guys want another video 50 likes and i'll post one uh tomorrow but yeah first things first go to marketplace then i go to mlb players and we're going to be building these exchange packs uh it's pretty much like the best thing to do in the game right now other than playing the game so when you do these exchange packs i'm going to show you guys the best and most efficient way to do it i like to go to 76 overall so make sure you guys go to filters if you guys don't want to pop that up it's just square or um x whether you're on playstation or xbox then go to minimum overall max overall put them both to 76 and then um yeah you guys want to get these like 76 overalls for you know under 99 stubs it's gonna be the most efficient way to get them and if you guys want to grab these buy orders much quicker you guys can also you know download the companion app just like up mlb companion app and then once you sign in on your phone, you guys can make buy orders like super quick. So in like five minutes, realistically, in five minutes, if I'm just tapping my phone screen, you know, I'll probably have like 300 plus buy orders up. And, you know, it's 100, pretty much 100 subs per card. So, you know, you guys are going to be able to have like an insane amount of these, um, you know, silver cards to the point where, I don't know, you're probably going to be able to make like, I have 100K. So if I was to put like 100,000 subs into this. I don't even know how many packs I'll have. It would take a while, obviously, to convert, you know, 100,000 into 100 stub cards. I would definitely have, like, a ton and all that. But basically, like, once you guys get all that, let's say if I was to do this method, like, today, and let's say I was to want to make the most profit, I would put all 100,000 subs into it. <clears throat> I can't guarantee you that, you know, you'll buy 100,000 subs worth of silver players in a day. But... The thing is, when you're still playing the game, just make sure you guys have, like, an insane amount of buy orders up. Because the more silvers you guys do buy, it's obviously going to be the more stubs you make. The more bulk amount of things you do in the game, the more you're going to make. Because, basically, with this, like, method, you're going to want to pull the higher overalls in the gold pack. So, the more packs you do it, the more times you pull the higher overall pulls, the more profits that's going to be made. And let's say you guys get on a hot streak of pulling, like, these 84 overall golds and stuff like that. Like, I'll show you in a second. Then... You know, you'll make tons and tons of stub profit. I remember one of my videos, I made like 20,000 subs just off of doing like 10 or 20 packs of these on the video. And it wasn't like a lot of packs. It's just that sometimes you can get on like a really hot streak of just getting great pulls. And then also when some of these cards get the lag boost, they go up, you know, an insane amount, especially if they're like a gold going up to like a 93 or something like that. Some of their prices go up to like 5, 6K, like the Corbin Burns last time. I don't, I didn't think anyone had a profit boost this time, but yeah. Basically, what you do is you create a buy order on these. Let's say I want this Giovanni. I don't even know how to pronounce his damn last name. Let's just say I want this Giovanni card right here, right? It's like Galagos. I don't know. Um, I, I would click on him, right? And then I would just click on this right here and then create buy order. And I would just do 99 stubs. Cause like I said, you don't want to go over 100. Just try to get 100 or under. So that way, you're not overpaying for these cards. The less you know, you're paying for these, obviously, the more profit you're going to be making. So 99 stubs, and then what I would do is I'd finalize the order and just keep doing that, like 99. See, look at it, I already won it. And then keep doing it, 99, 99. And just pretty much spam this so you guys have like, you need eight of these, by the way, to make one of the gold exchange packs. So eight of these, that's that's why I'm saying get them for 100. You're paying 800 stubs. And let me show you guys that just in a second. Oh, right there, I make seven buyers. So you'll notice that 
we're spending 800 on these so we're gonna look at like the prices of these gold live cards and i'm gonna be showing you guys why this method's one of the best right now obviously i posted this before but i haven't posted in a couple days and I'm, uh, it's still a good method you guys should also get in on this before these guys get like these like live boosts and stuff like that so if anybody has like an out like outstanding type of standout type of day in the mlb then expect them to most likely get like a boosted card and if you guys pulled their gold card then it could go for like six five k not 65k i'm saying six or five k um <clears throat> Like I said, this Burns, I remember I pulled him and I sold him for like 6k when he was first got the live boost. It's pretty much just that these are live cards and they constantly just, you know, get these like boosts and stuff like that. So for the time being, a lot of these cards go up in price. But as you guys can see, the first page right here, we're spending only 800 stubs to make the pack. The first page, oh, some of these are tripling your stubs. Like if you pulled the Cor Corbin Burns, he would triple it. Will Smith's damn near tripling it. But it doesn't even matter. Most people I know, like, in the community post stub methods that make you, like, 50 to 100 sometimes. Like, stub profit per. That's trash. You guys want to be doing stuff like this. Like, if you guys are going to be trying to do, make stubs and you guys are going to be putting time into it, put it into something like this. We have, like, four, pretty much four pages of profit slash break even. I mean, yeah, some of this is going to, like, lose you a little bit of subs. But who cares about losing 100 subs when, like, when you pull, when you get a great pull and you're making, you know, a thousand stubs profit or something like that when you lose 100 subs it's really not gonna uh, matter we only have like two and a half page we only have like two pages honestly it, it starts from like right down here when it starts to get to this like 460 this is where it's like the trash bowls i don't consider like a 750 i don't consider like a 700 i don't consider any of these like trash pools like yeah they're obviously gonna lose you some stubs but at the end of the day, you're only going to lose like 150 off that. And like I said, off the profitable pulls, we're spending 800. These are going to make you a lot more than your losses. So, especially when these get the boost. But then what you guys would do, all right, now we know the prices and stuff like that. And we know what we're risking. Then you guys go ahead, go down to this exchange pack right here. It was just at exchanges, exchange players, all the way down to silver for gold. I don't know if I even have enough to do this at right now. I should. I just bought that Caligos guy. Yeah. Right. So we're not gonna compete 800 for this. Obviously, I'm not saying to do one pack. I just told you do a bulk amount. You're not gonna make profit just doing singular of these. Like if I open this one right here and I get like a pack and it's an 80 overall. Obviously, I just lost like 200 subs. But if you do like 50 of these packs or whatever, and you guys get some trash pulls, then the good pulls will make up for it. So pretty much off this one pack. See, I was gonna just say if I got like a. <laughs> An 80 overall it's gonna make it look like i'm losing on this method but realistically if i was to have like the 50 packs or i don't even know can i go to like my gallery right here and see if i have like i have so many damn clips but like see when i pulled the burns when he got boosted like the 91 he it said his sound that was 2.7 but i remember i sold him for like 4.5 uh, some of these guys just get like go up oh right here this is where see sound now 4100 so that's what i'm saying like these cards can just randomly like we're building these for 800 stubs and you guys can get stuff like this when they get the boost and i, and I was pulling for like a lot too like look these were two different oh yeah look at that one sound out five thousand. like that's what i'm saying i have proof of this too like obviously if you were playing during that day you would know but let's say you weren't and you just maybe got the game this is what i'm talking about burns was going for like 6k when he got that like little boost when he when it first first dropped so when these first drop you guys want to be on to these packs like just putting all your subs into this i know i just pulled like that free or whatever and it goes for like 400 subs and i just lost like 400 subs on that shit but trust me like that's why you don't do just one pack i was kind of just showing you like what the hell the pack looked like but yeah do like 25 plus of these if you can and if you can't then another thing to do right now is honestly to just snipe like some equipment what i would do is i'd filter go to go to equipment and then i go to filter and then you just pretty much go to like um what is it it's the batting gloves these right here go to batting gloves and just try to flip these all these have some pretty good margins between them i've realized the batting gloves you can flip them pretty easily i'm probably gonna do that today i mean if you guys notice every time like i'm making a video i'm i'm up stubs my team's getting better uh, honestly I, i've barely been playing the couple last couple days because you guys could notice with like the lack of uploads and stuff like that it's just busyness like it's not me not wanting to make videos and not wanting to play i'm, I'm enjoying the game right now but yeah, this has a great profit margin between them almost all of these have like a thousand this one has 2.1k and like 
I know it's like a little bit risky when you see 9k at the bottom, you see 6.8k, it's not really showing a steady price that it's selling at, but most of these cards like this, it, like they actually will sell and make you like profit. So yeah, check those out if you guys don't have that many stubs. That's pretty much going to be it for today's Slumming Method video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll have another video for you guys out tomorrow. Peace.